What up, YouTubers? Waspray back again today with a big, nice size package. So, I got this package from Cheese Man. I would link you to his YouTube page, but I think his only videos are him eating a pretzel and him in shop class launching a water bottle off an air compressor. He is here with me today in Skype. I don't know if he wants to say anything or he's going to be quiet, but he is here with me when I open this up. Um, this is a package of stuff I think he just had that he thought I would want, maybe? But it's like an 18-pound package. <laughs> Alright, I just opened it. <laughs> the top is amazing. Brothers Johnson. I forgot to put that in there for like padding. Record. This is a good one. I don't have a record player currently, but it's a good one. I'm trying not to pre-look at what's in here. We got packaging. I usually put packaging materials in there, but I just ran out of stuff. <laughs> I'm going to turn you up a little bit. All right. Got some, oh, some, some blue game cases with games. We got Gauntlet with the blue case. This video is going to be long. Going to be long. Yeah, there was a lot. Oh, this is a really good one. Scooby Doo on the Super Nintendo. I uh, found that in my uh, doubles pile. You have doubles of that game. Somehow, yeah, I don't know how I did, but I did. I don't even know where I got half of those. Star Fox on Super Nintendo? You were telling me I'm going to have to hook up my Super Nintendo, and I'm, and I'm going to. Oh, this is an awesome one. I don't even remember where I put it. Ultraman? I can't see where I'm looking. Huh? Ultraman? Jen was excited to see what's in here, because she got picked up the package, and she's like, jeez. I didn't think it would be that heavy. Super Mario Kart? All awesome games. It's like when I went there and he's like, that'll be like something 50. I was like, holy fuck, but it's worth oh. clear little space. Sewer Shark with no mouse poop on it? I just sanitized it for you. Mm. In, the no, card I in the cardboard box. Mm, yep. I think so. I think it's all in there. Fright Night Part 2, sanitized. This one's Maybe. A, this one's a cool one, because I think it's pretty hard to find on DVD, if it is, even is on DVD. I don't know. VHS, though? I've seen the remake on DVD. Yeah, the remake's not nearly as awesome. There's a bunch of VHS in here. <laughs> War of the Gargantuans. It's a monster classic. This picture on the back. <laughs> oh, this movie feels like there's like nothing in it. Like this, this is like a oh, this is ninety-two minutes. It's a Paramount picture. Oh I don't think I watched that one. I think I just bought it on impulse. This is an awesome one. Critters two. Now this one's awesome for a couple of reasons. A, the movie is cool anyways, but I was really little when this came out, which is probably, maybe not really little, but 1988, so I was really little, I was seven, and I remember they had these at like the video store, and I was way too scared to rent it, but I always thought the cover looked, I always thought the cover looked awesome, but it I was does. too scared to rent it. <laughs> My mom probably wants to let me rent it anyways. Crystal Forest? This looks like a great one. Mm, it's real nice. It's one of those impulse buys. I love the category. Erotic horror. That sounds good. That's the only reason I ever bought it. Witchcraft? Three? Well, I've never seen those. That's three, so... Army of Darkness? I don't have this one on VHS. I'm going to have to, like, turn in a bunch of my VHS to the thrift now, because you... 
or replacing my collection with like awesome stuff. This one, I saw Cheese Man had and I actually asked him for this. I don't think they make this on DVD. I'm pretty sure they don't make this on DVD. It's called Remote. But when I was little, instead of renting Critters, the same video store, they had this movie in. I probably rented this, I don't know how many times. Probably more than five. And if I remember correctly, now I haven't seen this movie. It came out in 1993. I haven't seen this movie in years and years. But it's kind of like three ninjas and uh, Home Alone mixed together. And I also just noticed it's a Moonbeam movie, which means it's made by Full Moon, I think. Is that right? I think, I think Full Moon is Moonbeam. I think it is. So this one I'm really excited to watch. I'm going to watch this one with Shannon because I don't think she's ever seen this one. Is not Zach? Is that Zachary Ty Bryant? No, it's not Zachary Ty Bryant. Not Zachary Ty was in this. All right, what else we got here? Rodan. No Rodan. I don't know what that is. I just threw it. License to Drive. Corey Haim and Corey Feldman. That's when I watched that. It was actually a classic. Komodo. This looks I sweet. Know I don't know what that one is either. I've never seen this one, but it looks cool. I just had a pile that I didn't donate to the uh, thrift store, and I was like, oh. I know who can donate these. This is subspecies 3, subspecies 2. I wish I had the first one on VHS. Yeah, exactly. Those are really... Do you know where you found any of that stuff? Most of that was at a... Like a... I don't even know. It's a thrift store, but it's not like... Most of their crap's retail price. King Kong remake. I've never seen this, but it's supposedly awesome. I think. Oh my god, there's still a ton in here. The one I put in there I think is pretty good, but I don't remember if I put it in there or if I left it. This is a super exciting one. I definitely owe you, Cheese Man. Big time. Love this movie. It's so awesome to have it on VHS. First Men in the Moon. It's in a rental case, but I don't think I've ever even seen this. Well, I've never seen it in person, but the VHS copy. I've seen the DVD. But to be able to have this one on VHS, this will be sweet on VHS. I had a few more of those. I just... Didn't have any more room in the box. <laughs> Frenchman's Farm, where time plays deadly tricks. This oh, one. <laughs> I watched that. It wasn't actually that terrible for a movie. Not that bad? It was probably like, it was better than that I thought it would be. Looks pretty cool. And I watched it. That was the one that when I was watching it halfway through the movie, it just ate the tape, so I had to tape it back together. <laughs> Scooby-Doo, The Reluctant Werewolf. I've never seen this one. I am a big Scooby-Doo fan. That one's a real nice one. It's got Dracula in it. You can see that. Yeah, it's got like, and the mummy. And Frankenstein, at least. Yep. They're all in a big range. Superstar, <laughs> Superstars music cards. Can I open these? Do you want me to leave these sealed, or can I open them? I opened up my pack, so you can open what's inside. Alright, let's see what I get. <laughs> I'll find more of them. I'll send them to you. Jason Donovan. I have no idea who Jason Donovan is. Yeah, half of those I don't even know who they are. The Doors. Mm, that's a nice one. <laughs> Level 42. No idea who that is. <laughs> the Party. Oh, I got a good one here. Vanilla Ice. Ice, ice, baby. <laughs> Simply Red. No idea who that is. Simply Red, standing by. Oh, here's a good one. New Kids on the Block. Bum, bum. New Kids on the Block. The Beatles. Nice. Sir Elton John. I forgot he was a knight. And Sonia? No idea. 
I got some that I can hang up in here. I'm not going to hang them all up, but maybe they out. One. What? Those are good. One package of Scooby Doo fruit snacks. Are these expired or are these still good? No, this is still good. They're still good. Alright. The box was just like ripped open when in shipping. Oh, there's more VHS in here. Oh, good ones too. How do you have all these VHS? They've been sitting in my closet for years. Ernest Goes to Jail. My favorite Ernest movie. And I that's love Ernest. One. That's the one that needs a nice new label on it. No Holds Barred. I watched when this came out. It was originally a pay per view, and I watched it, and I didn't like it as a kid. But you got to rent the, the match and the movie. You got to watch them both. It was a cage match. It was like, <sighs> Brutus Beefcake and Hulk Hogan versus Macho Man and Zeus, maybe. Nice. The cage match was def devastating. I'm sure this movie isn't good, but as an adult now, I probably like this a lot better than I did as a little kid. I would assume. Yeah, that's. Good. One's been sitting in my bathroom for like three years. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. Killjoy goes to hell. You had doubles of this one too, right? Yeah, that one's from that mystery box, I think. It's the only Killjoy. There's four Killjoys, right? I think. Oh, there might be five now. Psycho Circus. Oh, yeah. So I don't have this one. And I don't have Psycho Circus. But now I do have this one. Okay, I got more DVDs I could send, but... Mm, that's a great one. <laughs> Dr. Chopper, you said you watched this, right? Oh, there's like a... There's also... 25 to Life in here. Did you know 25 to Life was in here, Cheese Man? <laughs> no, I didn't, but you can have that. Bonus! <laughs> I don't remember putting that in there, so... Dr. Chopper... You said this wasn't horrible. It's not terrible, but it's not like... He looks cool. So give me some stuff to do, like, reviews on. Road Rage. I have, like, a couple of these. No, this one, I don't know if I have this one. Or... I've got Road Rage 3 back there. I'd never even heard of those. I was like, yeah. Transfers 2, sweet. You have doubles of this? Yeah. That was my original copy of that, and then I got another copy in a... off their website, I think. The Greatest Fights of Martial Arts, Part uh -huh. 2. <laughs> I've had that one for so long to send you, and I just sent the package and put it in. Alright, we're coming in on the end here. Ultimate Fighter, one of the discs. I might have this, but I don't have the sweet rental copy. <laughs> I could have sworn I threw that one away. Deadly Drifter, <laughs> what is this? A Fred Williamson movie. No, that, that, that's not what it is. It's a different movie. I don't know. We'll see. Deadly Impact and Fred that's Williamson, not... Deadly Journey. These look awesome. <laughs> is there like a Kung Fu guy in both of these? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they're black exploitation yeah. films. A computer hacker calculates a system of monitoring the slot machines at various Las Vegas casinos. And he and his girlfriend make a killing. Other criminals kidnap the duo and force them to give up their money. That sounds riveting. I got that a long time ago. I didn't even know what it was about. Chupacabra terror. <laughs> no, no video store would take that. So I, really? I, <laughs> it's a terrible movie. The King of Carnage. Just a wrestling DVD. Oh yeah, it's got Dusty Rhodes in it. It does. Dusty Rhodes versus Terry Funk versus Kevin Sullivan versus Abdul the Butcher. It's kind of cool. Back when I bought a bunch of those. This movie's supposedly awesome. I've never seen this. I'm glad I have this one. Have you? Did you watch Circus of Fear? No, I never actually uh, watched it. I just it was one of those impulse buys. Looks good. Another UFC. Oh, does this one even... Oh, it does have it in there. Alright, we're almost <laughs> done. I really hope it's in there. We've got... Oh, just going to have an empty case. A few more. The Lady Vanishes. Yep. I don't know much about this one. Looks black and white, maybe? A lot of those I never, ever watched. I bought them, like, years ago. 
Well, this one's still got the receipt. This is rare. Oh, yeah, that's Evil Bong. She might need, that one, I think, needs to be resurfaced, but it'll still probably work. Evil Bong, one. Which I don't... I have Evil Bong. I've got a couple of Evil Bongs, but not one, I don't think. So that's cool. I originally thought these were going to be, like, completely terrible, and I was worried about ever getting them. But... I did. And they're actually good. I've seen a few of those. Not terrible. Infested. This looks awesome looking. Infested. Oh yeah, that's a great one. Did you watch it? Have you seen this one or no? Yeah, it's really cheesy. It looks super cheesy. And then, oh, last, I think this is last. Last but not least. The Singapore mummy. <laughs> or wherever this is from. The Vietnamese mummy or something. <laughs> Careful, the disc's really uh, fragile. <laughs> Why? Is it dick? Because they used a cheap, like, knockoff. Nice. I've what? never found a bootleg DVD at a garage sale. That's the first one I ever found. Alright, well, that's all we got for you today. I'll probably do some reviews on some of these things. I mean, I've got a million things to watch now. Just want to say thanks to Cheese Man, and we'll talk to you guys soon.